So one of the questions that I have to answer quite frequently is which oars do I need for my boat? The length of oar is determined by the boat. If you get a small boat, you need the seven foot oars. If you want a medium boat, that'd be the Point Defiance or the Whitehall, then you would want the uh, eight foot oars. If you're getting one of the skiffs, then the nine foot oars would be right for you. Um, a more difficult question to answer would be which uh, style of blades would be appropriate. We have uh, two style of blade, two styles of blades. Uh, first one being the uh, utility oar or the flat blade. These are very simple to make. The uh, blade is quite sturdy. It's flat. Uh, you can basically make these on a bandsaw. <laughs> uh, they're inexpensive and they are cost efficient. The utility oars are great. Um, if you just need something to move the boat every once in a while, if, if you're keeping the oars on hand in case of emergencies for a sailboat, if this is the boat that the kids take out to horse around with on the beach and they're likely to pry, pry up uh, clamshells with your oar blades. Um, they're tough, uh, durable, and uh, you don't have too much money sunk into them. They'll row absolutely fine, they'll move the boat without any problems, but uh, they're there uh, just to get the job done. Another option is a spoon blade oar. A spoon blade oar is a much more delicate construction. Um, it's got this lovely sweep to it, uh, much lighter, uh, much thinner profile. The idea with a spoon blade oar is uh, that you have a very clean entry, very clean exit, and it actually generates quite a bit more power um, per stroke, which means that you need fewer strokes per mile. Um, if you're getting the boat because you want to row, then I always recommend uh, you look at a spoon blade oar just uh, for the experience. They are a little more difficult to make, and so they're going to be a little bit more expensive. So, all of my oars come set up with these uh, oval rings. I really love these things. They are um, they're quite narrow front to back but then quite wide top to bottom. And what that does is when you're rowing it allows for very little movement back and forth so there's not a lot of clanking in the oar lock but because of the, the height it allows for a lot of movement up and down. So you have a wide range of motion in one direction and very little motion in the other direction, which is perfect for rowing. It's, it's, a, it's a smooth and quiet and, uh, and efficient system. These are included with, uh, with all the oars we sell. Um, on, the, on the utility oars, our, um, our buttons are just plastic stoppers. But if we look at our spoon blade oars, Again, we have the uh, oval oar rings on there, and then our buttons are rubber stoppers on a rope wrap. And the rope wrap is lovely because it protects the shaft of the oar without having to drive nails in. And with the rubber button, you have the option of adjusting the uh, length of your, uh, of your um, handle on the fly. So if you're rowing and you find that you're, if you're not 100% comfortable, you can always pause adjust this a little bit and then just fine-tune it uh, to your style. This is a new product for us and these are called XPL oars. They are uh, carbon fiber construction. Um, they were just introduced by Duckworks um, and they are a tough, durable and very lightweight um, expedition grade ore. That is a great alternative to uh, uh, the wooden ores or even uh, you know, other carbon ores. The unique feature about these ones is that they will come apart. There's a joint here, the push of a button. We can break this down into a much smaller piece of hardware. If you need to take a, a pair of oars along on your sailboat or a spare pair of oars for your rowboat but you don't want them to take up all of your cockpit space, uh, this is a great way to get them stowed in a much more reasonable package. Um, on our Voyager for example, these will fit right up underneath the uh, mast step and into the nose of the boat and uh, just to get right out of the way of, uh, of all the action. Uh, they're available in lengths from 8 feet to 9.5 feet from duckworks.com and uh, we will set them up with your choice of uh, oar locks. In this case, a uh, Martinoli sleeve um, with a uh, 
traditional a square uh, performance or lock, which we've built our own adapter pins for uh, to make them work in a uh, in a traditional socket. So the last ore that I would like to talk about um, is this. This is what we have traditionally sold uh, with a scamp. Um, again, like the uh, XPL ores, this is a takedown ore. It uh, comes right apart into two um, very compact halves. They're even uh, the same length, so this makes them uh, as, uh, as small of a package to store as you can. They're not nearly as uh, refined as the XPL's ores are. These are strictly a uh, utility ore. And while they do have a little bit of a spoon blade, um, a relatively thin shaft and uh, relatively heavy for their weight, they will certainly get the job done and they're compact and easy to store. And uh, again, um, you know, relatively inexpensive, so a very good value for a, uh, for a utility ore. And this one is a little bit different is the forward-facing roaring system. Now this is a, a whole thing and if you're coming out of a kayak, um, if you have a stiff neck and you can't really look over, over your shoulder very well, uh, then this might be a good option for you to consider. And the idea with the forward-facing rowing system is that you turn yourself around and face forward in the boat, whereas with regular oars you'd always be looking at where you came from. Um, with the forward facing system, you can look at where you're going. The uh, oar has a hinge in the middle, and what happens is, as you pull on the handle, it changes the direction that the blade moves, and the oar pushes the boat in the opposite direction from what you would expect. So when you're facing forward, you're rowing with a regular stroke, you're still pulling on the power stroke, and the oar moves where you look. Um, there are several advantages. Uh, the big one is you can see where you're going. The fact that you can see you, that the fact that you can makes you uh, more maneuverable and much more precise in your maneuvering. Um, it's great for tight quarters if you're dodging a lot of pilings, if you're rowing in um, you know an estuary or channels, um, or if there's a, a lot of traffic in the marina. But then with these oars, you can keep a really close eye on what's ahead of you and avoid running running things and people over. Um, and of course, if you've got uh, physical uh, issues that would uh, prevent you from uh, shoulder checking frequently, uh, then being able to turn around and uh, see where you're going is going to be a uh, lifesaver. Uh, we can set these up with a variety of different shafts. Um, the big question is whether it's an ore that we can actually cut in half without destroying it. And uh, with a wooden ore, that's not so much of a problem. The mechanism itself is uh, stainless steel with bronze bearings. Um, it is a, uh, a lovely piece of construction, and we've had many, many miles on this without any issues, and it's uh, just a lot of fun to row with, not to mention it's a great party trick. And, uh, <laughs> Put, to, put somebody in one of these and turn them loose and just uh, enjoy the show. <laughs> they do take a couple of minutes of getting used to because um, after, you, especially if you if you know how to row after years of rowing backwards, all of a sudden everything works the other way around. It takes, uh, it takes a minute to adjust. We're excited to offer a new option for our forward rowing systems. Um, usually in order to uh, get oars set up for this, we have to take a regular set of oars and run it through the table saw and turn it into two pieces, which is a problem for bigger boats because long oars are expensive and uh, it hurts to cut them in half. We have partnered with a, uh, with a custom um, oar shop and who are now building uh, these beauties for us. This is a handcrafted uh, spoon blade oar made of Sitka spruce and Sapili which is specifically designed to work with the forward rowing system. The spruce is lightweight and flexible and strong for the blade. The uh, blade itself is uh, spoon shaped not only in the long face but also in the short face which is a uh, true handcrafted detail. Uh, the oar shaft is oval which means it's thicker in the direction of, this, of, the, of the stroke and thinner in the up and down which reduces the weight towards the blade. And then um, tellingly, the upper half of the oar is sapili and we're done in a beautiful scarf joint. The sapili is a much harder and stronger wood than the spruce, 
much better able to stand withstand the stress uh, that is put on the shaft by the cradle. And uh, the heavier handle nicely counterbalances the blade when uh, when the oar is in the water, which makes it easier to uh, to row the boat and get the oars up and down out of the water. These are uh, built one at a time for us and available uh, custom ordered uh, to length.